excited that you joined us today for the Word of Power broadcast with Jeannie Alcott. We encourage you to hear God's Word concerning your desires and dreams and His healing for you. Let God speak to your heart through this teaching and anointed time of prayer. Then, Jeannie and John invite you to contact them. They will pray the prayer of faith for you. Now, listen for a word of power for your life. What a joy to be with you. This is Jeannie Alcott. Have you ever noticed that when we want something better for our life, we usually have to do something about it? I mean, it doesn't just fall into our hands. We don't simply experience a change or blessing. Many times we must do something so that we put ourselves in position to receive what we desire. And in order to get where we want to be, it means we have to break away from what's impeding our progress. So in this teaching, we're talking about how you can make the break. You can separate yourself from what's blocking what you want to see happen in your life. And when you make that separation, here's what happens. You experience a transformation. Something is altered. It's changed. And that throws open the doors to the opportunities you want. You know, too many times we may be trying to hold on to something that, in fact, as we hold on to it, it's the very thing holding us back. And so God can't do the great work that He wants to do in us and for us. So we have to be willing to experience the time of being transformed. It's just as if you had a piece of clothing, and it must be altered so it would fit you better. You know how it is. We lose weight or we gain weight, and we have to have alterations to accommodate that. Well, just as those clothes, if you're not willing to go through the alteration process, you're not going to get the final product you want. It's only as you go through the alterations that you can experience what you desire. Nothing gets better without some transformation taking place. And that means we have to break with where we are so we can move on into where we want to be. And I tell you, just knowing that can make the transformation time so much easier. That's because we understand that we're doing this so we can have something better. So even though we don't want to experience change or break from what's comfortable to us, we can do it. I think of how a dear partner was telling how she's experiencing this very thing. She has a new job, and in order to be successful at it, she has to make the break with the feeling of insecurity. Otherwise, that's going to hold her back from learning the responsibilities. And because she recognizes this, she's able to break with doubt and intimidation and now see her skills transformed into just what she needs. And you know, that's the biggest thing, recognizing that you have to let go of one thing so you can take hold of another. So here's what she wrote. She said, for the last three weeks, it's as if your messages are just for me. How timely and faithful God is to me. I have a new job and the learning curve is steep. And I still have some work projects that are troublesome. I need a miracle. But I see God's hand at work, and I know things are getting better. Your series could not be more timely. Now, we can relate to her words of something being troublesome and needing a miracle. But notice she said she sees God's hand at work. Things are getting better. He's been speaking to her heart and her faith through the teachings and the messages. So now what's happening? She's going through the transformation. She decided to break with the insecurity of her lack of knowledge of how to do the job. And she refuses to doubt if God is working for her or if she'll ever see things get better. So she's going through the transformation of working at a new job, going up the learning curve that is steep, and hanging on. Now you may feel as though you're hanging on for dear life. But as you take that curve, that learning curve, going up into what you desire, you will make it. That learning curve is transformation time. And even though something is troublesome and you need a miracle, you can see God's hand at work. You know things are going to get better. And that's what it means to experience a transformation. You make the break with what will hold you back. And you're willing to go through the change time. Romans chapter 12 tells us the way that we're transformed is by going through the renewal of our mind. What we have set up as our attitude toward what's happening to us must be lined up with what God's Word says. So we allow our mind to be renewed and changed with a new attitude. And then and only then, that scripture says we'll be able to prove the good and perfect will of God for us. Oh yeah, that's what we want, the good and perfect will of God. And the reason we can have that is because during the transformation process, 
we break with those thoughts and beliefs that would cause us to doubt God is working. We are not conformed to the way the circumstances would have us believe, but we're conformed to the way that God's Word tells us to believe. Let me tell you how we've been seeing this happen as we've been praying with a dear woman and her husband for their son to be transformed. And oh my, it's amazing to see it happen. It's so exciting. And it all started when they requested prayer for their son because he was dealing with a habit. And as a result of our faith coming together, God began to move on his heart to make the break from that unhealthy thing which was holding back the best for him. And sometime after that, I received a letter from the mother and she said, Thank you for praying for our son. He has been clean and sober for a month and is doing well. Now that's a transformation. It's time for rejoicing. But we kept praying that he would continue to make the break with what had held him. You know, you keep that faith power going out there. And sure enough, the next month, we received a letter again, and it said, God is still working in the life of our son, and he is still doing very well. Okay, it's getting better and better. The break is becoming more solidified. The separation from what was pulling at him is stronger. So another month went by, and now we've received a note that says, Our son is doing very well, staying clean. He has a part-time job. I tell you, because that young man is trying, God is going to reward him. He's going up the learning curve. He's being transformed. And as we are willing to be transformed in whatever way God shows us, we will see the reward of what he's prepared for us. You know, there's so much to gain when we separate from what is trying to hold us and go through the transformation. Now, you may not be bothered by a habit, but you may struggle with a mood that seems to take over, or perhaps it's pain or sickness or an ongoing difficulty. There is some kind of condition that seems to be the same, or a perpetual financial difficulty. Perhaps you just can't seem to get out from under what's holding you down. Sometimes discouragement can try to take us over, or an unhealthy relationship, or negative thinking. But you can make the break. Be transformed in your mind, renewed in your attitude. And that's when you can prove what God's good will is for you. You can see that for which you've waited so long come to pass. When you experience a transformation, it will transform your current conditions. You can see things change for the better. I'll tell you one of the most moving examples that God gives us in his word of transformation happened in John chapter 8. This is a story when Jesus had gone to the Mount of Olives to pray in the early morning. And when he came back down, he went into the temple court to sit and teach the people. And that's when the scribes and Pharisees, who were so jealous of him, thought that they could catch him in a violation of what the law said he must do. Their law said that when someone was caught in the act of adultery, they had to be stoned to death. So the Pharisees found a woman who was guilty. And as Jesus was trying to teach the people... They pushed her into the center of the court, right in front of him. And they disrupted everything that was happening because they were going to make a point. So they forced her to stand in front of everyone in her shame and hurt and pain. And then they confronted Jesus. Jesus, Moses in our law commanded us that such offenders should be stoned to death. What do you say to do with her? The scripture says they were testing him, hoping they might find the charge on which to accuse him. Jesus responded by stooping down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But they didn't go away. They persisted. And that's how the devil does with us. When he comes to accuse us, even when we try to ignore him, he persists. But we can break what he's trying to do against us. God can cause a transformation. That's what Jesus did here. He raised himself up and he said, Tell me who of you is without sin here. The one who has no sin can be the first one to throw a stone at this woman. And then he just bent down and went on writing on the ground with his finger, ignoring the men who had brought charges against the woman. And this scripture gives such a powerful picture of those jealous, hurtful men leaving one by one. From the oldest down to the youngest of them, they walked away stricken by their conscience. And the woman remained standing there before Jesus in the center of the court. Then he raised himself up again and asked her where her accusers were. Didn't anyone condemn her anymore? And she answered, No one, Lord. It's so important that she called him Lord. That showed that she recognized authority and compassion when she saw it. 
And so Jesus recognized the transformation beginning to take place in her life. And he said, I do not condemn you either. Go on your way and from now on sin no more. Oh, she was experiencing transformation. She was making the break from the way of life that had brought her down and embracing the wonders and beauty and the healing that Jesus had for her. Whatever you need to break with that's going on in your life right now, there is no one who can accuse you. As the devil sends accusations your way, one by one they shall be shown to be in the wrong. No weapon formed against you will prosper, but every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment shall be shown to be in the wrong. So no matter what kind of weapon has formed against you, God is providing the way of escape. Make the break with what's trying to hold you back and enter into the life of goodness that God has planned. Prove what His good will is for you and see Him transform your circumstances by His power. Hallelujah. And Lord, I believe by Your power right now that You transform those circumstances and the conditions that my friend is facing. No weapon, and there have been a lot of weapons formed against them, but no weapon is going to prosper. It cannot hit its mark in their life. They're coming out of this free, delivered. So where are their accusers? Where is the accusation that says they cannot experience something new or that they will never be able to change those conditions? You have made those accusations null and void. They can do all things through you. So now we thank you for that area of their life where they're going to experience some wonderful transformation. In the name of Jesus, amen. The Lord is transforming circumstances and conditions beginning now. That's what we're believing together. And there is so much power when we join our faith together in prayer. So be sure you do this. Share with me right away what needs to be transformed. What do you want to see broken from your life and changed and renewed? God has sent me here to be the one to pray with you and intercede. And then I'm going to send you some words from His Word for your life. So make sure you contact me right away. All right, now it's important that you get this spiritual power line going out there. That means that you express words of faith from your heart. And here's what happens when you do that. God's power connects with those words of faith, and He activates them into your life. So go around saying this, I make the break. I make the break. And now God can do so much in your life. You start watching for the transformation to take place. And to help you do that, make sure you get this teaching. The name of it is Make the Break. Just ask for AM 549. That's 549. You can have a CD for a gift of $8, or you can download it for a gift of $5. Just go to our website to do that. And we're going to send you all five parts of the teaching, and the prayer times we have with God will be there. So you can expect some mighty things to happen in your life. Now get your spirit ready to be with me again tomorrow. We're going to keep making the break and see your life transformed. I can't wait to be with you. This is Jeannie Alcott. God bless you. We pray that you felt God's spirit minister to you in a powerful way today. Jeannie and John invite you to contact them for prayer and to receive a letter filled with God's word for you. Write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 34000, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 74013 or call 918-459-9191. Our website at alcottministries.org is available for you to share your needs or to request items. That's A-L-C-O-T-T ministries.org. There you can also listen to Word of Power broadcasts and receive an encouraging word and prayer for your life. Please be sure to request the entire teaching for a gift to Alcott Ministries. We encourage you to join us as we give financially into God's work and then expect a great blessing for your life. Be with us next time for A Word of Power.